Saluete omnes. This is Abbey Latin Liber Primus, Chapter 13. This is Exercise B of Chapter 13. And the instructions say that we are to identify the person, the number, the tense, and the mood. All of these will be active voice, so we're not going to do that. The mood of the following verbs. We will then translate the verbs into English. First is done for you. So, videbam. From video, videre, widi, visos. It's got the ba of the imperfect and m, mm, m, s, t, most is on. So m, first person singular, I. I am doing the action. Imperfect, I was doing the action and I did it factually. I was seen. I used to see. Wid it. Wid it. This comes from the verb's perfect stem. So it's video, videre, widi, visus. Third principal part, chop off the I, you get weed, V-I-D as the stem. Then you add the it, third person singular, perfect tense. So third, singular, tense is perfect, and the mood is indicative. So he, she, it, that's the third person singular, did the action, or he, she, it has done the action. So he, she, it saw, don't say seed, he, she, it has seen. We debt, this is the third person singular, third person singular, it's got the T. It's formed from the present stem, second principal part minus the RE, so we day. This is the present tense, third person singular, present tense indicative mood. He, she, it sees. He, she, it is seen. He, she, it does see. We day. Well, this is going to be the imperative. All imperatives are second person. This one is singular. The plural would have te, widete. So this is second person singular, you. You're going to do it. Tense, present tense. And the mood is imperative. It's a command. So see. You're talking to one person, commanding them. See, si. Retenemos. Retenemos. First person plural. Mus. It's got the present stem. So present tense. Mood is indicative. We hold back. We are keeping back. Retenuemos. So first person plural. Perfect tense. There's the perfect stem, retinu. And then uh, the mood is indicative. We held back. We have kept back. It's re plus teneo, retineo, retinere, retinui, retentus, like retention, to hold something back. Retinuer, ret, ret, ah, sorry, retinuermus. Retinuermus. So this is first person. It's plural. There's the mus. Its tense is future perfect. Eremus. Future perfect. And it's on the perfect stem of the verb. Indicative mood. We will have held back. We shall have kept back. Habebat is going to be third person. Singular. Imperfect. Indicative. Habebat. He, she, it was having. He, she, it used to have, or you could just put he, she, it had for a long period of time. As opposed to habu it, there's the perfect stem, habu plus it, third person singular. This is perfect tense, indicative mood. He, she, it had, he, she, it possessed once. They had, he, she, it had once, as opposed to the imperfect, like in number eight, he, she, it was having over and over and over again, or had for a long period of time, as opposed to had once, and it's over with. Sedebit, third person, singular, future, indicative. He, she, it will sit. Sedebat, third person, singular, imperfect, indicative. He, she, it was sitting. He, she, it used to sit. Sederunt, 
third person plural perfect tense. It's got the erunt ending on the perfect stem. E, uh, perfect tense and indicative mood. They sat. Don't say sitted. They sat. They have sat. Said derant, third person plural pluperfect. Erant pluperfect indicative. They had sat. And then said derant, third person plural. That's the future perfect. Perfect is errant. Pluperfect is errant. And the future perfect is errant. So future perfect indicative. They will have sat. We day. No, you're not seen double. There it is again. It is still the second person. It is still singular. It is still present and it is still imperative. See! It's a command. Moemus. Moemus. First person plural. First person plural. So we are doing the action. Present tense. Indicative mood. We move. We are moving. We do move. Moemus. This is the first person plural. It's got the emus ending, but notice it's attached to the perfect stem mov. Whereas in 16, the mus ending was attached to the present stem, moe. It doesn't look like there's much of a difference, but there's a big difference between moe mus and moe mus. Moe mus, moe mus. First plural, perfect, indicative, we moved. We have moved. Moisti, this is the second person singular, perfect, indicative, you moved. Thou hast moved. You have moved. Perfect tense. As opposed to moistus, still the perfect, but this is second person plural perfect indicative. Ye have moved. Or ye just moved. And then number 20, moete. It's an imperative mood. All imperatives are second person because you're always talking to a you, either singular or plural. This one has the te, the te, so it's plural, moete. Tense is going to be present and indicative mood. Oh, I'm sorry, imperative mood, moete. Move, ye. Come on, y'all, move. Optime, very well done. That wraps it up for exercise B. You are now ready to move on to exercise C. Valete omnes.